So it's a good idea on a daily basis, uh, part of your pre-chip inspection is to check all of your lighting. So you can go ahead and get inside the cab and fire the machine up, uh, turn on all your lights and then go ahead and do an inspection of the lighting outside. Now when you get into the machine here, I'd just like to point out that you do have uh, a three points of contact for when you're getting in the machine and make sure that you're using those. One obviously is your foot on that bottom step. One is your right hand on the, on the handle that's uh, on, on the uh, frame of the cab itself. And then the third would be the door handle. So just, you know, always exercising caution and safety. Take your time getting in and out of the cab. But we're going to go ahead and fire up the machine and turn all the lighting on and do that inspection. So you've got your headlights, you can turn your headlights on. On the bottom of the column of the steering wheel are your four-way hazard lights. Go ahead and, and turn those on to check your flashers. Over on the operator control panel, you'll see you've got gutter broom uh, lights. These are floodlights on both left and right hand side gutter brooms. So we're gonna go ahead and turn those on. This machine has a beacon light on the cab, a cab stro strobe. We're gonna go ahead and turn that on. And then up top here, we've got a LED a light bar that is on the back of the machine. If you go ahead and press the yellow power button, you'll see that it, it's throwing flashers. You've got a mode button in the middle that can give you different patterns and designs. You also have uh, arrows that can alternate different types of patterns to direct traffic. Uh, we recommend only doing that when it's absolutely necessary. Otherwise, it's nice to just have a good universal flashing pattern to make yourself visible to oncoming traffic. So now that we've turned all the lighting on inside the cab, it's time to come outside the cab and do a visual inspection of all of those lights and make sure that they are actually working properly. So up front we have our headlights and we have our directionals. And just to the side of the directionals you have your marker lights. Above the cab you have your cab strobe. Down low, on top of the gutter brooms, you have your uh, gutter broom work light, flood lights for early morning sweeping or night sweep sweeping. So we want to make sure those are working. Moving on to the back of the machine, again, side marker lights. You have rear directionals. You'll also have brake lights. You have that LED light bar that we were talking about inside the cab. And then four-way flashers on the top. 